So my name is Bert Thera. I work at GE Global Research in cyber physical systems. Now cyber physical systems is sort of the area between where computers and the real world exist. So the point of cyber physical systems is to act as the connective tissue between what goes on in a computer and what goes on in the real world. Um, my kids, for example, they love to play video games. They'll play video games for hours at a time. And one of the reasons they love that is because they have so much control over what goes on in the video game. If they're playing Mario or if they're playing Minecraft, um, they're in control of that space. What we're doing here is we're giving that control over the real world. We're using computers to connect, and robotics specifically, to connect computers to the real world. So we're going to be able to have that level of control that you use in a video game in the real world using robotics and using um, controls and using machines to, to affect the real world. If I were a kid today, I'd really want to focus on robotics, but unlike robots of, of today where the robot has to be a certain size in order to get anything done, it has to be big enough to hold a computer to make it smart, it has to be big enough to hold all the things that you need a robot to do, motors. Uh, as these things get smaller and smaller, the robots themselves are going to get smaller and smaller. So, in 20 or 30 years, robots are going to be the size of an insect, maybe flying around and taking pictures, maybe even going inside your body and making repairs. So today, in order to repair, let's say, a heart valve that needs, that needs to be repaired or, or to do something else inside your body through surgery, the, the surgeon has to cut you open and, and make, do the repair from the outside in. But in 20 or 30 years, robots are going to be small enough and smart enough to do those repairs from the inside out. So you could imagine a robot being put inside your body and repairing things like your ears or your eyes or your throat, all kinds of things that, that robots can do inside your body as opposed to having a surgeon have to open you up and do those kinds of repairs. Oh, I love my job because I get to do something different every day. Uh, I'm solving a problem in robotics this week. Last year I was, I was focusing on, on how computers and people talk to each other. So every six months or so I get to have a new career and I get to learn a new set of of tools and, and to invent a new way of doing something that we do every day today.